very popular in Argentina that uh, Graciela yes, it is. tell you about. Uh, Faina, that's yeah. how you pronounce, isn't it? The and that's what the picture is here. That's uh, yeah. Farinata. Um, and uh, Farinata is uh, very simple. It's, a, it's actually chickpea flour. It's a flour made from chickpeas. Uh, and you mix it with water, leave it overnight, and uh, that's it. You put a little bit of olive oil, a bit of seasoning, and you make it into a batter. And uh, hopefully you have one of these ovens. Uh, if your kitchen has one of these ovens, then I'm coming around for dinner over the weekend. Um, and you can eat this uh, with, uh, with salad uh, as an accompaniment. It's just fantastic. Again, normally, um, this is a northern Italian thing. In southern Italy, they, some people wouldn't even know what it is. Um, so that's farinata. And melanzane fritte. So fritte is fried melanzane. Anybody know what melanzane could be? Melanzane is, is, uh, is aubergine or eggplant, depending on where you're from. That's melanzane fritte. So, who wants to pronounce that? Anybody want to pronounce that? You can put your hand up. We'll just go on. If we don't. Oh, we have two people here. Graciela, fantastic. So let's go from the top. Valerie. Okay, Valerie, you will start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, prendo faglioni. Okay, the here is an, agnello. That's a near Fagilini. very much like the, uh, like the Spanish uh, near. That's excellent. Uh, fegato. The, the accent here is on the, the second, uh, sorry, the first syllable, fegato. Uh, vino bianco, oh, per favore. Very, very good. Okay. Uh, Secondi piatti. Fritto di scampi, bistecca eh. alla griglia, agnello arrosto, agnello uh. arrosto. Pollo arrosto, buono, fegato alla veneziana, polenta fritta, farinata con insalata, melanzane fritte. Perfetto, perfetto. So, actually I noticed that it made me smile, both of you. Uh, uh, and I know Dono you, buoni. You, you, did you speak a fluent Spanish, Valerie? Oh, cool. Oh, no, that's good, it's good. I just noticed both of you uh, uh, resorted uh, um, to uh, pollo instead of pollo. Pollo. Well, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. And Arky, did you want to, did you have your hand up? Or did you retract it? That's fine. Retracted. That's no, okay, you don't need to apologize. Okay, let's move on. We have one more here, and then we're going to go on and do some stuff. So this is a contorni, and this is the uh, the accompaniment to what you're having. Okay, that's okay, Arki. You've got all the time in the world. Don't you worry. So here we have spinaci al burro, spinaci al burro, patate fritte, which is fried potatoes. Um, this is what you would call French fries or chips if you're in England. Agnello, agnello arrosto. Did we have that just now? Look at that! I put that on. Obviously, it must be popular in this restaurant. It's on both. It's on both. Uh, both of them. Zucchini all'olio. Pomodori ripieni, which is what this picture of here. Pomodori tomatoes. Ripieni means stuffed or filled. Fagiolini, which are beans. Piselli al prezzemolo. Piselli, uh, and that's uh, peas with uh, parsley. Insalata verde, green salad. Insalata mista, mixed salad. Okay. Anybody want to go ahead with that? Sandra, fantastic. Spinaci al burro. Can't hear you, just in case. Patate mm -hmm. frite. Agnello arrosto. Okay. Zucchini all'olio, mm -hmm. pomodori ripieni, 
Pagnolini, piselli alla prezzemolo, insalata verde, insalata mista. That's, that's fantastic. So piselli al prezzemolo and fagiolini. Excellent. Um, I know, isn't it fantastic? Okay, anybody else? Genie, perfetto. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Al olio, al olio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fagiolini, ok. Prezzemolo, prezzemolo. The stress is here. Prezzemolo. Perfetto. That's really excellent. Always, uh, um, I think I said to you the other day, the, the, the Russians always speak uh, Italian with a very, very good accent. And that's, a, that's a good proof. Good proof. Excellent. Um, okay. Anybody else want to have a, a last sling? Let's go ahead. Oh, of course. How could I forget? How could I forget? Dessert. Frutta della stagione, stagione, profiterole, which is, uh, everybody knows what that is, gelati assorti, which is what we have here, assorted ice cream, that's gelato, normally ice cream, gelato is ice cream, but here we have a mixture of ice cream, so it's gelati. Torta della casa, which is like a house cake, zabaglione, here we have that GL sound again, zabaglione which is like a, a dessert made with uh, egg yolk and marsala wine, and formaggi, and uh, that I tells us that it's plural again, so that would be like a selection of cheeses. So, frutta di stagione, profiterole, gelati assorti, torta della, double L, della casa, zabaglione, formaggi. Tiramisu, you're absolutely right, I did forget tiramisu. Let's add that in. Tiramisu should be there. Okay, Sandra, I think, as you quite rightly pointed out, that grave error of mine of forgetting tiramisu, would you like to read those? Okay, so, frutta di stagione, profiterole, gelati assorti, mm -hmm. torta della casa, zabaglione, Formaggi. Fantastic. Anybody else? That was very, very good, Sandra. Okay, let's move on here. Okay, so this is how we're going to order things, okay? So, if you want to make a note, of, a note here, you, you can, okay? And I'm going to flick back backwards um, if, you, if you need me to when it's, when, we, when it's your turn and you're going to speak. So when ordering a dish, you can simply say the name of it and then just say please. Okay? So here we have una zuppa di verdura. And that's a, a soup of vegetables, per favore. And what I really would like you to, know, to learn here, more than anything perhaps, is that last E. In Italian, every letter is pronounced. Okay? So this is not per favor, it's per favore, per favore, okay? So, una zuppa di verdura, per favore. So you're naming the dish and saying per favore afterwards, and that's fine. Or you can use a set phrase. You can say mi porti o prendo una zuppa di verdura. And the difference is here is mi porti is you will bring me and it, could, it sounds, in English, it sounds a little rude. You will bring me soup of your vegetable soup. Um, but that's, it, it's not, it doesn't come across that way exactly. It does sound demanding, but in Italian, it, it's, it certainly uh, doesn't come across like that. And, you know, you'd say, you know, you, you'll, that's what you'll bring me. 
Um, and that, that just shows the little differences there. Um, and prendo, prendo comes from prendere, and prendere means uh, to, to, to take. I will take, I will have, I will 